Alright guys, welcome back to All Things Outdoors. Today we're out here in the yard again, and we're gonna and since it is gonna be getting cold tonight, it's gonna get down to 39 degrees, maybe even a little bit colder than that since we're by the water. Um it's gonna be anywhere from 39 degrees to 36 degrees, so and the ele and these elephant here ears here can just not tolerate temperatures that cold. They are a tropical plant. So they do not like to get very cold. Um, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave. We're we're not, we're not gonna. A lot of people, some people, what they do is they actually cut all the leaves off and then they store them as a bulb. But we're not gonna do that here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna store them as a plant here, like this. We're basically just gonna take these this pot here with the elephant ears in it and we're gonna move it into this green porch um is what we're gonna do so yeah um i'm gonna show you guys how to do that so first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to cut any leaves off that are either dying or and this can be and this is basically what you would do normally anyway you prune it like you normally would if you have to you prune it all the dead leaves or dying leaves or basically once they start to turn yellow like that down there cut them off I already cut some of them off and this leaf here is probably gonna die soon because you can see the yellow starting to show through but we're not gonna cut it off yet we're gonna leave it there um, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna want to get something like a dolly or a hand truck or anything and if it's a small enough plant you could probably carry it just carry the plant but this is a pretty big plant so we're gonna want to actually care we're gonna actually want to take it on a hand truck and we're gonna move it and we're gonna put it inside our screen and porch because it's not it's not super cold yet so we don't need to put it all the way inside now once it gets to that point we will need to put it inside so but it's not to that point yet so now I'm gonna go get my hand truck slash dolly and then we're gonna put it in the porch and we'll show you how to do that also um if you have not a lot of room if you have to fit, fit it through a small door um, you may have to cut off any leaves that don't fit. So, like, if you have wheat leaves that are way too wide and they're sticking out like that or something, you may have to actually take all the leaves that are too big, you may have to take them off. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it in, so it'll be fine. We're just going to move the plant as it is how you see here. So, now I'm going to go get the hand truck and we will get it. Um, we will get that and then we will show you how to move it all right guys so i could not find the hand truck but i have a different idea so i'll be right back so i got this sled here um and i'm going to use it to i'm going to put the elephant ear pot inside it and then i'm going to use it to drag it um to the porch which is probably about a hundred so feet but it's and you may be wondering why i didn't just carry it over well it's kind of big and it's very heavy and it's kind of a Kind of an awkward shape to carry the flower pot all the way over there and also i don't want to drop it and ruin the plant so we're gonna put it in here and this is definitely gonna be much safer for the plant and me because then i won't have to worry about dropping it on my toe or something i am wearing boots though so even if i did drop it i would be fine but we're just gonna put it in the screen and porch for now which is right there that building that kind of side of our house um we're gonna put it there so that we can um kind of like because it's gonna warm up later in the week so we'll be able to bring it back outside so and that'll be great but yeah um i'm gonna get it ready and i'm gonna put it in the sled and then we'll bring it over all right i got the elephant ears in the sled and now we're gonna bring it over very careful as you can see it's already working pretty well so far actually it better than I anticipated it. Now, it's gonna very carefully start moving because going, starting and stopping is the most likely time that the plant's gonna fall because it's pretty smooth, pretty smooth ground here. So it's not like all bumpy and rocky as you can see. It's just our yard, and it is gonna work pretty well, I think. And turning is a risky part when it could fall. 
Okay. We have made it to the door. Bring the plant as close to the door as we can. Okay, we made it. Now, time for the hard part. Now we're gonna lift it into the porch. And we'll be good to go. So, I'm gonna put it in there and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Okay, so I got the elephant ears inside and I cut off a few of these low growing leaves and we had one leaf here that was like sticking way out past the rest of the plant. So I cut all the leaves that were sticking out too far off so that it will kind of grow to be less lopsided. I mean, it's still kind of lopsided. I'm, but luckily though, we've got a lot of new leaves growing this way, so that'll be good. And this leaf seems to be growing to the side, but I'm gonna change it to grow this way. I'm gonna train it, I guess. <laughs> and then same thing with this leaf. Make it more rounded so that I can cut off all the bad leaves. But yeah, we got it inside now and it is ready to go. So um, now that it has been moved inside, it will be, that will basically be where it is for the entire week until it warms back up again. So, and then we'll move it back out for a while. But once it gets too cold, then we're gonna move it inside permanently for the rest of the year. Well, actually, yeah, for the rest of 2021, it will be inside and even part of 2022. It'll probably go outside once we have no risk of freezing again, or at least no risk of getting below 40 degrees. That's when I move it inside, is if it gets below 40 degrees, then I move it in. But if it's, as long as it's above 40 degrees at nighttime, then it'll be good. It'll stay outside, but it's supposed to get down to 39, anywhere from 39 to 36 degrees, so I'm moving it in. And yeah, that's going to be about all for today's video, so once again, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and be sure to put that down in the comments below saying that you did that for a shout-out, and we will see you guys on the next adventure.